So here we are looking at my uh, e-learning support, my learning management system, so to say, for cloud and security architecture, including certificate of cloud security knowledge. Now here it says enroll in course for 2500. That's just a high price meant to uh, lead you to my real sales page where you get much more than just this course. This is what you'll see if you are uh, not logged in. You get to, to see a little bit on, on me and most of the class curriculum. So you can really scroll through that. As a matter of fact, you can scroll through the entire curriculum to see what's in there. Now, as I said, you order this by going by signing up for one of my courses. And what it will then look like as you are logged in, let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger, right? Is the curriculum again and your progress here on the left. Now the progress obviously starts at zero and it, have, it progresses as you click on the first unit. Then the uh, navigation pane changes so that on the left hand side you can see all the units again and on the right hand pane you can see any units now you may or may not be able to post a comment that depends on the section now you're supposed to read through all this and then when you're done you go to complete and continue now complete and continue will bring you to a video so let's cut this out for a second uh, what you should be doing here is to turn off autoplay and that will turn it off you can also speed it up or slow it down if you want i think you can actually yeah, right and that makes uh, some of these videos a little easier to follow you can also put it on auto complete which means that when the video is done you automatically go to the next one again um, some of these you can actually download uh, as you can see here on the bottom and when you complete this, you really go to the next one. Uh, here I have a survey that's actually a Google form and I'd really love for you to fill in that survey. Now I won't go over the entire course, but you can see that as we complete this, you are progressing your progress bar. But at all times, you can go back to any earlier uh, unit in, that, um, in the learning management system. So the idea is to really to go through the topics one by one and some of the topics are indicated they're optional like uh, the labs they're optional um, and there are extra sections like here the extra material beyond ccsk exam this you can use if you want to have a little bit more of a deep dive into certain things for example openstack security guides offer defined networking Oh, there's so much out there a little bit too much as a matter of fact i should uh, reduce some of that and that's basically most of the features if you're really going into ccsk then what you should probably do is go to these documents right where you would say this is the csa guidance now you can have a look at this it's a fairly thick document you, what you should be doing is downloading it and most people really find value in uh, printing this out because you will be studying this for the exam now, what else is there to say? Um, I mean, this is just this is basically it for uh, for CCS for for CCSK um, for studying um, a little bit more support. So, as we go into the first section, you go in. Let's get like it's called section zero here. It's supposed to be section one. How did that come? Anyway, the. Um, there's a bit of introduction, sometimes there are PDFs, sometimes there are videos, uh, sometimes there's a bit of an exercise, um, but really the most important thing um, to never forget is the summary per domain. And then you can take, uh, I mean, the, the summary really has the key examination concepts according to the official exam guide. And then there is a summary that explains in a lot of more detail what this, this is about. But it's a summary, so if you don't get this, if you don't understand all of it, you should be going back to one of those learning modules. Now, if you're feeling comfortable with this, <clears throat> then you should really go into the uh, official documents, uh, which are the CSA guidance and the ANISA document. And here I am explaining which parts you should be reading at this particular point in the course that you are doing with me. 
and that depends if it's an online instructor-led course or a classroom course. Um, that's basically it for the features of the learning management system, I think. And if you have any questions, just drop me a line.